Hello guys, in this tutorial, I'll teach you how to create a vintage style 90s wrestling themed t-shirt design with a halftone effect and black knockout for DTF printing. You'll learn techniques and how to add effects to the design, making it really stand out and achieve that 90s vintage feel. Before we start, let's do some information gathering from various sites and use reference images. You can visit the Grailed website where we can find different ideas for vintage style t-shirts with a wrestling theme. We can use Pinterest for inspiration and visual ideas, while Midjourney generates unique AI-powered images for creative design elements. For mood boards, the Miro app helps organize everything, scripts, reference images, inspirations, and videos. Miro is useful for real-time collaboration and streamlining the creative process. For our first step, let's create a new artboard in Photoshop and set the size to 14 inches by 18 inches with 300 resolution. Next, place the main image, then press Ctrl plus J to duplicate it, convert the duplicated image to a smart object, and double click on it to open in a new tab. We'll crop the subject from the main image. While you can use the pen tool, for this step you can also use the lasso tool. One eternity later. Once the image is selected, simply copy and paste the selection, then erase the original image. Save and close the tab to return to the original artboard. Repeat this process for the other references you'll be using in your design. Next step, after cropping the image references, reposition them to achieve a balanced composition. Adjust the placement of each element until the overall design feels visually harmonious and well-balanced. Then you can adjust the levels of the images by pressing Ctrl plus L to open the levels adjustment. This helps enhance their contrast and brightness, ensuring they blend well together in the design. By adding a layer mask to the image, you can erase the flat edges and refine the edges for a smoother blend. Do this for all your images to ensure a cohesive and polished design. Quick tip on using layer mask. If you want to hide part of a layer, you can use black paintbrush to conceal and white paintbrush to revert or reveal. Next, add a title to the design using a gothic style to complement the overall look. We'll use the Angel Wish font for this purpose. Here's a tip for the title part. You can use the warp text style to add some extra flair and dimension to your design. For this tutorial, group the title to apply effects more efficiently. Using blending options, you can add styles like stroke, drop shadow, and others to enhance the title's appearance and ensure it blends well with the design. Then, convert the title to a smart object for easier editing and maintaining quality. Next, add a grunge texture by placing a grunge image on top of the title, clipping it to the title layer, and setting the blending mode to multiply. Adjust the levels to achieve a realistic grungy look. Next, add and clip a gradient map to the image then select your desired colors. This will apply only those colors to the image, giving it a cohesive and styled appearance. For our vintage design, we will use purple to achieve the desired look. Group them together and rename it First Image. Repeat this process for the other images to maintain balance and achieve a cohesive result. Adjust color overlay sliders to achieve desired color correction. Make sure it complements the overall design.
Here's a tip. While using the gradient map, save your color settings by pressing new. This makes it easy to apply the same colors to other images with the gradient map. Another tip, rename your files to keep your workspace organized and avoid confusion while working on your design. In this part, we'll reposition the images again to refine the design and achieve a balanced layout. We'll also recolor the title. Since it's a smart object, edit it in a new tab using gray and white colors. You can also add a blending style like Inner Shadow to make it stand out. In this part, we adjusted the color of the tombstone reference images, changing them from purple to gray. This helps balance the design by ensuring that the lower part of the design doesn't have too much purple. Here's a tip that might be useful in the future. You can hide multiple layers quickly by holding Cottrell and clicking on the eye icon next to each layer. Next, modify the background by adding a layer mask and using the brush tool with a soft brush preset to refine the sharp edges. This approach will help soften the edges and improve the overall appearance of the image. Quick tip on using layer mask. If you want to hide part of a layer, you can use black paintbrush to conceal and white paintbrush to revert or reveal. Next, make sure all layers are visible again. Then, add a gradient map to the background and adjust the colors to coordinate with the design. This step will ensure the background blends seamlessly with the overall color scheme and enhances the visual harmony of the design. To add more flair to our design, incorporate lightning elements for a dynamic effect. Since the lightning image has a black background, change its blending mode to screen to remove the black and blend it with the background. Use a gradient map again to match the lightning colors with the overall design and then position the lightning elements as needed in the background. Group them together and rename it to lightning. Move lightning group to the back, adjust the scale and position, then duplicate to create multiple lightning effect. Now save the current design as a PNG file. Next, reopen it in Photoshop and start applying the halftone effect. Let's start applying the halftone effect to the design. First, duplicate the design layer, then create a new layer with a black background. Again, don't forget to rename the layers to avoid confusion and keep your workspace organized. For this tutorial, add a noise texture for a vintage look. Create a new black filled layer, then go to Filter, select Noise, and choose Add Noise. Adjust the amount. Check monochromatic and click OK. Set the layer's blending mode to screen. Next, convert the duplicated layer to a smart object and double click it to edit in a new artboard. In the new document, go to Image, Select Mode, and choose Grayscale. Then, go to Image again, Select Mode, choose Bitmap. Flatten the layers, set resolution to 300, Shape is set to round, frequency of 45, and angle to 120. Then copy the image and return to the original artboard. Place the duplicated layer below the original layer. Add a layer mask, and by holding Alt, click the white box on the layer mask. This will turn the artboard white. Paste the copied image onto this layer. Finally, apply clip mask to both the original layer and the noise effect layer. And there you have it. Your vintage wrestling t-shirt design is now ready for DTF printing. Thanks for joining us for this DTF design tutorial. Remember to subscribe for more tutorials like this. Visit our website at www.transfersuperstars.com and see you in the next video.